4th of July. I'm ready to pop these firecrackers. Don't pop them on me. Happy 4th of July. That was literally just my friend's nude. What's up guys and welcome back to my channel. It is the 4th of July weekend so it's an absolutely crazy weekend and I'm going to take you guys along with me for it. I'm so so excited but not for this part. We're starting off with the worst thing. Not the worst thing. Katie if you're watching this I'm literally so sorry. But my friend is now a bar instructor so we're going to her first class ever. Me and my friend Vanessa are going to it. We're so scared because it's in La Jolla so it's like super duper athletic crazy rich moms that are so good at this. So we're really nervous for it but we're really excited for that will be fun and I'm so excited for this weekend. And this is my first 4th of July out here in San Diego so it's really different and exciting for me. And yeah, let's go. These are two contrasting things. So here on my phone is what my friend in my group chat, oh, oh my God, that was literally just my friend's nude. But here in my group chat is what our friend just sent us. And then on the contrary is my breakfast, which is what children eat. So here we have like a little vibrator thing compared with my breakfast, which is a children's smoothie. So that's life in college for you, I guess. <laughs> Vanessa is also going to be picking me up in like 20, yeah, it's 9.30, in like 20 minutes. So I need to fold all of this laundry that's on my bed. I haven't done my laundry in a while. I was holding it off. So my laundry bin was literally over there at the way, way top overfilling last night. So all my laundry was done this morning so i have to fold it all up bit check let's go to a workout class this is so crazy i literally haven't been in a bar studio since january or february of 2020 and it is july of 2021 whoa okay i already told them what we're doing but i said i'd get your input on how you're feeling okay so i was just saying in the car i was like <laughs> i'm nervous why am i nervous i'm just a little participant here. so it's our friend Who's the instructor today and it's her first class. Vanessa, the last time you did bar was when? Two winter breaks ago. The first class that Vanessa and I ever did together was actually with Katie, the girl who's now the instructor. I don't even remember. No, the first class, after the first class, Vanessa and I were actually so sore. Because you don't think, you go to a bar class and you're like, okay, like these little movements, you're fine. And then you're dying. See you on the flip side. This is pre-death and maybe you won't die, but. Dude, I'm, I'm like really interested to see what's gonna happen to me. Like I don't know, like I know I'll be alive. But we like, don't know if the next shot will be us in the hospital. It's not the best to get later. We're running. You're supposed to be here like 20 minutes. We're not dead. So the class went really well. Go Katie, go. She killed it. Did super Dude, duper she, well. You would have never known it was her first class. Literally like, not at so all. Good. So Katie, good job forehead kiss for you. You did so well. And there was only like five minutes where I was like, mm, could I have a heart attack? Because I have actually never sweated like that because I don't do high intensity workouts whatsoever. So I was actually sweating profusely. Oh, my whole face was like, I was like, I feel like it was like sliding off. Have yeah. you ever done hot yoga? No. Oh dude, that's like a whole like, it's good. Right? So, sweated a lot, but now we just feel like good and healthy to start off the 4th good of July of the weekend. Woo! So now we are in PB just running to pick up my friend's key because I have to go move her stuff into storage. So we're getting that and then going back to state and it is a gloomy. Look at all the 4th of July stuff. It's so cute. Aw, there's gonna be so many. Oh wait, that actually is so cute. It's so cute. Aw, I wish you guys could see, but you can't. But gloomy day. Hopefully it gets nicer by the end of the day. And yeah, that was that. It is 12 o'clock. Okay, so I am home. I am making lunch real quick. I got out of the car. I'm actually so sore already. <laughs> so this is gonna be a fun day. I need to change also real quick out of leggings and into shorts. It is nice and hot out. So gotta do that and shove food down my throat. So right now I'm going to pick up Vanessa and we are going to move our friend Alea's stuff out of her storage unit because she is in, people are staring at me. Because she is in England and her storage unit expires today. So we are moving all of her stuff out of her storage unit into her house for her down in PB. So we're a little like moving crew for all your moving needs. So I'm going to get her and we are going to be doing that. So yeah. We got all of Alea's stuff and look how much stuff she has. I literally cannot see because my car is packed. Mom, if you're seeing this, I can see, like it's just, it's just hard. 
but I can see. I'm moving the stuff so that I can see when I have to see. But yeah, we are driving back down to Pina, eh, Pina, na, na, PB now to drop it off at her apartment, so. Jake was helping move out today in the vlog. This is his little feature. We are done moving Alea's stuff. It is 2.40, so I'm just down in PB. I'm gonna go home right now. Yeah, I'll do that. Um, my tummy hurts. Hot girls have tummy problems, and that's the truth. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna go hot boy. Okay, so I am at Ralph's right now. I used to only buy my groceries at Target, but now I'm kind of like a Ralph's girl. Where's my mask? Mask. It's 3.15, so I'm gonna go in here, grab that stuff, and be out. Grocery haul, I got Minute Made as a chase for tomorrow, the 4th of July, yeah. and Kettle One, that's my 4th of July drink. And then food. Goldfish, dinner and lunch, a full chicken, don't ask why, and then a potato. I didn't actually need to go like grocery food shopping, but I figured while I was there, I might as well just get some food. And I always like make baked potatoes, but then my roommate showed me that these like microwave potatoes are like a thing. And I was like, wait, this is actually so convenient and cool. So that was my mini grocery haul. I need to finish folding my clothes from this morning. I never got around to finish doing that. So I need to put all this food away, all of this food. There's like three things. Things I have to put away. I just want to like clean up and feel put together because tonight and tomorrow are just going to be a crazy like 24 hours where I am going to be getting home really really late tonight and then tomorrow I'm not going to be sleeping over at home. I'm going to stay down in PB so I want to just like have a clean space so that when I do get home after just being like running around and like out and about like having a good time I have like a clean space to come back to so I feel put together. So I'm going to just be clean and clean my space up after myself and then shower. So, ow, let's go do that. I just got out of the shower, it is 420. I have to dry my hair with hair extensions in every single time that you get them wet. You're supposed to blow dry them so every single time that I do my hair, it literally takes at least an hour. So I have to do that. I'm supposed to be over at Vanessa's by like seven o'clock. So that gives me like three hours basically to get ready. So that's nice. I'm also like dying of thirst right now. So that's what's happening. I am dressed and ready for this warehouse party tonight that I am working at because my friend Jake, who is my best friend's boyfriend, is like DJing it and his big is like hosting it with like Pop Pay, which is this app that has been really big here at SDSU. So working it and this is my outfit. Leather skirt, Amazon, top, my little got it for me, shoes, Converse, they are so freaking dirty, but this is the fit for it. It's at some warehouse, it's some like EDM thing, not really sure, don't really know what I signed up for, but it starts at 8, I have to get there a bit sooner, I'm doing it with Vanessa, like we're working it, and it goes until literally like 4 in the morning, but I think we're only working it till like 2. I should probably eat, I wasn't going to, but now that I put into context that it's until 2, probably should do that. I don't even know if I like this outfit. Mm. I may change, don't really know. Okay, I actually had an outfit change and I changed into this dress from Princess Polly. It has like a little cutout in the back. Use my code MeganF for 20% off. And yeah, vibes. Van <laughs> okay, so we are at Vanessa's house right now. We're about to leave to go downtown to the warehouse thing that I was talking about earlier. Vanessa is looking absolutely plain in this oh dress God. just by me, but that's the plan for tonight. I'll bring my phone, not the camera, God forbid I lose it, and we are working it, and we are going to be the best bartenders who even knows what we're doing ever, and yeah, bye. What's up, guys? It is 2.30. I just got back from the event that I was working at. It was so much fun. I met the Christian Verling, the TikToker guy, which was really, really cool, and I think I made so much money in tips, which is also sick. I've literally just been in my bed eating goldfish now though. But it was super sick and it was like a fun little like DJ house little music thing that my friends put on. That being said, just because of how tired I am from how long of a day I've had, literally I woke up at like nine, it's 2.30 and we've just been go, go, going. I need to go to bed because tomorrow's gonna be such a long day, it's the 4th of July. I'm sad I didn't really vlog anything at the DJ thing tonight, but I have the memories in my mind. Good night. Good morning. Happy 4th of July. It is 10 in the morning. I just woke up and I am so freaking sore from that bar class yesterday. That I literally could not roll over in bed. And I texted my friend who did it and I was like, dude, I'm literally so sore. Like my thighs, I can't even feel. I don't know how I'm going to walk today. Like, oh my God. And she was like, dude, same. So it's going to be a long day in that sense. 
but I have to go shower, start getting ready because, um, shower and start getting ready because, oh my god, I have like two and a half hours until we're gonna start pre-gaming, so, gotta go shower and do that. <laughs> I'm going to, I got out of the shower, I'm going to blow dry my hair and watch Too Hot to Handle because I'm on episode 6. I need to put in my airpods probably while I do that. Is that smart to like have airpods and not blow drying your hair? But I feel like I can't hear if I don't. They need to like increase the volume on max. Apple, do it. I'm also so happy that like The Bachelor's on, Love Island, Too Hot to Handle. Okay, bye. Okay, my outfit is this red bathing suit from Amazon and my shoes are He's Converse, and right now we are just eating lunch. Happy Fourth of July vlog! Sorry. Look at me right now. Amy's having a little vlog takeover for two minutes, real quick, while she does her Fourth of Yay! July. Get ready with me. Take over. Have fun. Hi. Hi vlog. Um, I'm just getting ready because I'm going to the bars and going to PB. I haven't been on a vlog in so long. Okay. Thanks, guys. Bye. I love you. Really we didn't even put it on the right part. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> I'm so dumb. <laughs> oh, Megan, don't put that in there. Now I look like an idiot. I'm in Caitlin's room and I'm just going through her entire closet. I know she wouldn't be mad though because she does this to me all the fucking time. I don't know if this is very 4th of July at all. Also, I need to get ready, but um, I'm tired. I'm feeling very lazy. This is awkward. Um, I feel like I'm talking to myself. There's people in the other room. I don't know what to wear. I want something normal to wear. Um, what are you gonna wear, Michaela? Megan, I can't do this. I just got so <laughs> nervous. <laughs> Did you just go to vlogger? And then... No, I literally thought I could do it. I'm not a vlogger. Okay, that was Amy's 4th of July takeover. We had a little outfit change. Wearing this two-piece billabong thing with this white sarong from Boohoo and Converse are still the same. Okay, I'm gonna go Dage. Taking Tom's, my tummy hurts. See you guys later. Guys, so I am back from the danger and I just changed outfits into my night outfit. We are going to the bars tonight, so I just showered and I just have to straighten my hair a bit. So I just put it up into a ponytail because I had it in a cap because I didn't want it to get wet while I was showering. I have to redo my makeup because I washed it all off. And I ate dinner. I got Trulos, which is a food place on campus. And yeah, I have like 40 minutes to do that. I'm exhausted. Okay, hi, change of plans. So I actually didn't go down to PB, I just went to my friend's house and hung out and I had a little outfit change and I'm actually going to my friend's house to pregame and we are just going to a like frat house on campus and going out tonight to finish the 4th of July so this is my outfit maybe I'll go swimming tonight so I'm kind of wearing a one-piece bathing suit and then these mesh shorts and then just docks so this is my outfit still kind of like 4th of July fun woo vibes my hair I kind of restrained it from earlier in the day it is 8.30 right now, I think, 9.30, not really sure. I'm gonna drive over to my friend's house right now. And that's that. So thank you guys so much for watching this little 4th of July weekend vlog. This weekend has been so much fun just hanging out with my friends and vlogging again. I haven't done that in a while. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, please be sure to subscribe and give it a thumbs up. I hope you guys had a really good 4th of July weekend and that it was fun and safe. And yeah, that's that. Love you guys and bye.